channel so i don't know why i haven't already said this right but i have started a new playlist called uncut so there's like a second video like a third video in the uncut series playlist whatever but anyways my name is ifa Labi. welcome back to my channel and if you are not a subscriber to my channel like why why are you not subscribed to my channel i feel like we should have like a deeper connection so just subscribe to my channel so anyways today's video it's about side chick gang it's a Ghanaian movie that premiered like three weeks ago i'm sure it premiered like three weeks ago so the whole synopsis of side chick gang was like these are three women that go about ending the phenomenon of side chicks like they go about catching men that are cheating in relationships so you know the whole thing if you're a woman you can't tell them that you think your husband is cheating on you and they go about doing the good fight for the good of womanhood so then was, the movie features uh Nanama Mac Brown, Lydia Forsen, and Sika say like these are the three girls that constitute such a gang. So before I begin, or even before this video ends, for all those people that are going to come at me that eh, you don't do Ghanaian movies and eh, you're always on Ghanaian movies that they are not nice. This is my thing about Ghanaian movies. I watch Ghanaian movies a lot, like more than I think a lot of people know. I watch Ghanaian movies a lot. I support Ghanaian movies a lot. But I have this basic thing about Ghanaian movies. When push comes to shove, the story falls apart, right? And that does the exact same thing about side chick gang. Because you tell us that this, we are going to watch a movie about a group of women that are on their quest to, you know, catch all the cheating men in, say, Accra. But then they get an offer from a man that they don't work for men. But then a man gives them money that they can't refuse to work for him or to catch his cheating wife and then you know let's see what happens but then after we watch the movie it's like wait what like when i finished watching the movie i was like wait what like what is this movie about because yes you said that these girls do this but then they stopped the side chick gang because it was breaking apart relationship wasn't the cheater breaking apart the relationship like that's about that i didn't really get like they're like oh now what they are doing isn't right and they are going around you know exposing people but like that's the thing that's why i said i want push comes to shove like it fell apart because you're trying to say that you are going to end people cheating so isn't that cheating supposed to be the problem not you catching the people cheating that's what i didn't get and then so when the movie ended they were like no why not we move from side chick gang to volunteers of love so that's what i'm going to talk about the evolution from side chick gang to volunteers of love and maybe there might be a bit of spoilers in this video so i'm sorry for anybody who hasn't seen it and if you haven't seen it it's still showing us all about service so please head there and go and watch it so side chick gang with anama video say video force and as you say right how could i mess up so side chick gang with anama mac brown video force and as say three amazing women the movie is visually like when you watch the movie it really sucks you into it and i like the fact that they use a lot of three words it shouldn't be a thing that you should be excited about because it's like it should be part of our everyday lives but we've been through so many Ghanaian movies whereby it was a lot of and when i look into the stars and i beam into your eyes so that was one of the movies that was very like real like okay like it had a lot of like everyday language and not poetic language so that's the thing about it because i think that's what a lot of Ghanaian movies are shifting towards now like trying to mix the tree and maybe ga into the english to show that yes we are a multilingual country so props to that the costumes of the movie yeah for that one thing i didn't like about it is the plot line and i'm now going to hit on that because for all the people that are going to be on my case and be on my neck that yes they have a limited budget and they do their best with what they can that's amazing like if you can do a great movie out of twenty thousand cities or that's like five thousand dollars if you can do a great movie out of five thousand dollars that's amazing there's no way i'm going to like knock off your hustle because i don't like or because maybe your graphics look awful i watch kumawood movies i actually enjoy a lot of kumawood movies i sorry but it's like one of my favorite ones right but the thing is that have a story in which we can get into have a story in which we can follow you from point a to point b now let us start the story from point a when you get to b you leave us hanging and then before you realize you are d so from b to d what happened like how did we get to d what happened at c what tra like trajectory did we have to pass through and that's the thing because they kept us in groups right and it was just awful and another thing 
about it is that the girls, they made it seem like the girls were already established doing their business. But it, was, it should have been three girls who unconsciously stumble onto a money making business and then find themselves in a whole lot of wahala. Then I can be like, oh, okay, you know, if that had been the synopsis, great. But it's not made it look like these are some uber girls that go about catching men. When it was like something that happened and it was like, oh, you know, this can actually work. And then they stumble upon it. So next time, blurb, tell us. Three women stumble upon money making venture and then it brings them so much for help. Then I won't go in with high hopes and then have my hopes come crashing down. It will really hurt me. And also, one thing that is like that I didn't like or I hated. No. One thing about the whole side chick gang and the whole movie was that, you see, the men, uh, the men in the movie, I feel like they should have been out of it, Ajitya and then, honestly, I feel like even if the men, like, they didn't have to give them speaking roles, it would have still made sense. Because, like, you're just catching all these people and instead of making one person, like, the face of all the men you're catching, it should have been, like, a group of men that like even though they are anonymous they still have the force or like they're the ones pushing back against the girls because at the end of the day it wasn't an external person that was the antagonist it was the girls now that were the, their own antagonist so it was like okay it was just very weird it was just a very weird moment throughout the movie and the movie was funny like no lie about it i really really enjoyed them i really really enjoyed watching the movie like the parts that were funny were hilarious like no two ways about that and i feel like that's what a lot of Ghanaian filmmakers have perfected the funny moments the funny you know the quips the part that you be like oh yeah yeah that part is funny for that one filmmakers i give them a one like they do that, they do that so well they know how to make like they know how to capture the moment and make it funny so great! I give them props for that. What I don't give them props for is making it seem like the action of the movie happened in a day. Right? Because they set up the side chick gang. They get clients. The clients are coming. They're writing them down, charging them. And it seems like they're catching spree for the men happened in a day. Because they were in the same clothes, the same car, and they were on their way. And it's like, wait, did all the action happen in a day? Like, they didn't do this whole montage where it's like okay they go in with a different shutter they come out with a different shutter the clothes are different the car is different because it feels like they were like private investigators i haven't seen any private investigator do their work with so much glee because if like i'm supposed to be tailoring someone and catching them in the act you would think that i'll be at a distance and i'll take the picture and go and show it but these girls like they'll go in your face and be like haha we've got you and i was like no, no, this doesn't work like that. So that's where I feel like the story fell apart. Because if these are girls that are like trying to catch men in the act, they're supposed to be, you know, stealthy. Like, go, oh, okay, I saw your man doing this, this is the evidence. And then it moves on from there. But if I come in your face, aha, I've caught you. Obviously, I would know that you are the reason why my marriage fell apart. So for that part, they, didn't, they did not force at all. But... All in all, the performance of Lydia Force, I think that for as an actor, Lydia Force has really grown. Like as like I saw her first movie, and even though I will admit I haven't seen most of her movies as I would have wanted to, but you can still see growth in it. Like she immerses herself, and that goes across for all the three characters. Nana Mama Bra, I mean she's a phenomenal actor. She just immerses herself in the role, even though Personally, I think that she shouldn't try to speak English a certain kind of way because in the movie when she speaks English, it kind of took me out. I think because I'm too used to her in Kumaud movies, so it's like, hey, why is she speaking English? So I think that's more for me personally than as a general thing because anytime that I have my brother spoke English, I was just confused, just waiting for her to speak to you. But once again, this person, nobody can tell me that why Mitch can't do English movies. No. I'm just saying that I feel like, because I'm so used to her speaking Kree and Kuma, would her doing an English movie will take a little bit getting used to. So maybe when I see her in two or three more movies speaking English, I'll be used to it. And nobody should besides John and John. That movie is an atrocious movie. And her role in it, equally atrocious. So no, this is a movie that like actually gave her a lot of speaking time. 
And and someone someone tweeted at me that oh you know they should put a better test in Ghana like how most of the female characters all that they talk about is men or you know relationships and everything and you know no, that test will fail in Ghana because this side check Ghana all the conversation was about men never was like even the ones that were about the business was about men so we can conclude that in Africa or like in Ghana women our lives we like talking about men the number of places they use because even though like they went to a couple of people's homes it wasn't like over the top because you'll be watching a movie and like the places they go to in a movie you just be confused because you're going from here to there to there to there to there and you're like but like, well, let's set up the action so then that's just the, like the fact that it was the office from the office they're on the streets roaming about catching people was the street thing cool mm, not really and also one part of the movie that I think shouldn't have been there but then they brought it because of comic relief and to make people laugh was when they wanted to get the car to rent. And question, people said you were going to rent the car because you didn't want to buy the car. So you would assume that you'd be changing the cars as you go along because you are, you are renting it. So that's another reason why I said that I felt like it was happening in a day because it's like you keep on changing cars, right? That will show that oh there's action happening so maybe you entered with a Opel Astra when I come was a Corolla when we see you again it's a Toyota I don't know Yaris when they're coming it's a Kia Picanto that's true oh you put you're doing this business because you don't want anybody to detect you like in one car that you'd be jumping around and everybody see that oh the girls in that green rickety car will catch you so yeah so this is the thing about Sachi Gand I had hype I didn't even go watch it on the premiere day because I knew that if I got to watch it, I would have gotten a place to sit. So I went to watch it on a normal day whereby it was just me and a few others. So I had hype, the movie was great. But then it also, Sanjay Gang is an example of how a lot of Ghanaian movies are like now. It has a great idea, then the execution just falls flat. It's like we have this great idea. It's like this is how I think a lot of Ghanaian movies are. We want to get to point B. How we get there is like, it's left up in the air because you know that okay, we want them to turn into like therapists that will like if advise people, inform them about their relationships. So that's what we know we want to end up. And we are starting from here. But it's like the actions that go in the middle become eh so far as we get to that point, we are good. And that's not good storytelling for me. Especially for me. Like I like a good story. Let me feel like ooh. You did something over there. I feel like really you expect us to believe that all of a sudden at the end of the day they're just some kumbaya. No woman came there was angry about the fact that how dare you find my husband. It's like the pushback that I was expecting from this wasn't how I got it. So I was a lot of disappointed in the movie. Not like a lot, like hundred percent disappointed in the movie, like like fifty percent disappointed in the movie because it's like you know. You expect this movie to be great and then it disappoints you but then it's a Ghanaian movie that you have to support but then you're like if we keep on supporting this everybody will keep on doing the same one you know I have so that's my, my problem with Ghanaian movies a lot of conflicting emotions because you feel like you have to support them but then why because they'll give you something like John and John and you just be sad so then that's just it so Honestly, honestly, but then apart from all this, please go and watch like Sachi Gang, right? Because I saw the hype, I went to watch it with a friend, I told her, I, I think I told my sisters to go and watch it, but then they were all busy, but I had sponsored them, one of them. But then Sachi Gang is a really great movie, and I'm really excited about like the rest of the Ghanaian movies coming up this year, because I know most of them aren't going to be like that, thank God, and you're not going to get a lot of the funny movies, even though they said our culture has to be funny, but they're not going to get a lot of those funny funny moments, movies, you know, you're going to get the different different kinds of movies. So for that I'm currently excited. My excitement is at like 70%. hasn't reached like peak excitement. But it's still fairly exciting excitement, right? So yes, that's just it. So I'm done with my review for Sanchez Gang. Honestly, let me know what you thought about the movie. That's if you want to see the movie. Even if you disagree with my review, right? Still let me know why you disagree with the review. And yeah. That's just it. So I'm done with this video. My name is Ifalabi. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, right? The button is just down there. 
click the link, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos that are going to be all around me somewhere once again. And then I'll see you on my next video.